Okay, I'm going to do that again. So welcome <laughs> welcome to the call tonight, our Wellness Wednesday call, um, where I love to team up with um, uh, my fellow pharmacist friend, Dr. Corey Cooper, to talk about all things wellness, why we we flexes, and um, tonight we're specifically talking about inflammation, how it affects us in a positive and how it helps us, how it works against us, um, and ways that we can help um, provide ways that Plexus helps provide this resource for us to be able to address all those things. So without further ado, Dr. Corey Cooper. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our, our Wellness Wednesday call. So I'm so glad to be here with you all yet again for another Wellness Wednesday. So make sure you're muted. So we want to make sure that we have the best recording so that you can share this with all your friends and family. Um, so please make sure that you're on mute if you haven't already checked that uh, for, for your line. All right. So let's talk a little bit about inflammation, as Dr. Rachel said. So it's really interesting when we kind of think about this topic of inflammation, because a lot of times we hear um, we hear people say, well, inflammation is like, you, you might hear people reference it as the root cause of disease, that we, we're always trying to treat inflammation. But I'm going to challenge that tonight. So I want you to think about inflammation in a different way. And let's start by thinking about inflammation in a different way. When we think about all the different things that sort of contribute to why we might even have inflammation in our bodies. Um, please make sure you're muted for me. Everybody check your lines. And even if you think you're muted, check just one more time to make sure that you are actually muted. All right, awesome. So, um, so when we think about why we might experience inflammation, I want you to kind of think about the things that we experience on our daily lives and how that might actually contribute to why we would experience inflammation or why we would have a symptom of inflammation in our bodies. So when we kind of think about all the things that factor into our health, a lot of times we start with like the food that we eat, but that's not, that's so, that's just one part of it. There are so many toxins that we come in, that we encounter on a daily basis. It's food is just one. So there's food, there's different toxins that we encounter in our environment. For those of you who might take prescription medications, maybe you've been diagnosed with a chronic disease and so you're taking prescription medications. That's a form of a toxin that you're taking into your body. So you've got, you have pharmaceutical medications, you have food. So if you're eating processed foods, if you're eating food that, um, you know, hanging out at the, the fast food at all the different restaurants, or even if you're not eating fast food at a restaurant, but you're still eating out at a restaurant all the time, that's processed food. A lot of the times processed food because they're adding things to the food to make it taste really good that technically do not belong in food. So you have those. You also have things like just our life stresses. If you think about on a daily basis, all the things that we have to deal with. So maybe we're working, so you're working full time. You have a family to take care of. In some cases, we're taking care of our parents. Um, maybe there's some financial stresses. Maybe there's some relationship stress. There's all these different things that sort of factor into bringing toxins into our body. And what happens when you bring toxins, I'm gonna give you two different examples, the two different ways to think about this is so one i know we've all kind of seen that picture of like the iceberg where you have like the ice you, it's just the tip of the iceberg that sits on the surface and there's all this uh all this iceberg left underneath there it's, it's very much like that when we think about our health so what we might see on the surface are um we might see you know some skin issues we might feel tired um we might um you know, that's, that's actually the services where we're actually looking at disease. So for some reason, you've gone to the doctor, you've gotten a diagnosis. That's, that's really what that surface is. When we look at the bottom of the iceberg, those are all the symptoms that led to what you now see on the top. Because once it's diagnosed, it's now evident for the rest of the world. But all the stuff on the bottom, so the hormonal imbalances, the inflammatory imbalances, the gut imbalances, so the gut dysregulation, all of those things are actually underneath the surface. And they're happening a long time before you actually even get to manifesting disease at the very at, above the surface. So that's one way I want you to think about it. And another way I want you to think about it for in particular, as it relates to toxins and inflammation is very often we minimize the things that we do on a daily basis 
as actually being toxic to our bodies. And there was a very real example of a uh, scientist, he published this paper in National Geographic many years ago, where he, act, he was a skeptic. He didn't believe that there were these toxins that we were actually experiencing on a daily basis and that, was that, that we actually had toxic levels in our bodies. He didn't believe it. So he decided, okay, I'm gonna go to the most, there was a famous doctor at Mount Sinai in New York that did these functional medicine tests that actually measured the level of toxins in the body. He goes to see the doctor, the doctor, the doctor measures all his levels and it turns out that he has over 200 different toxins in his body. And he actually had some of those toxins that came directly from just birth. So, and, and actually studies show that we're born with at least 40 toxins just from, you know, from the placenta, so transfer from the mom to the fetus. And then if you breast, if the mom breastfeeds, well, then you're transferring those same toxins over. So he had, so you could have like cosmetic toxins. Babies are, are tested and born. There was, it's a story of like, there's a, another study where they tested like 10 babies. So at birth, they already had 40 toxins present in their body. And it was cosmetics. It was um, like bisphos bisphosphonol A, so stuff that comes from plastic, phthalates that comes from like, it, there's phthalates in your car, there's phthalates in, in, all, in like plastic and all different kinds of uh, uh, the, the stuff they cover if you eat a lot of frozen food, all that stuff is covered in phthalates. So all of those things were actually found in this study for babies at birth. So when you think about the fact, so here's a scientist who was a skeptic, didn't believe about these toxins. He goes in, he had, turns out he has 200 different toxins in his body. And over time, so that the doctor was able to test, to take it back to how long he's had those toxins present. And all those toxins are doing over all those years is, is, is setting an environment for inflammation. It's creating an inflammatory environment. That's all that it's doing. So when we talk about inflammation, a lot of times we think about what's happening in the here and now, or like, oh, my face looks puffy, or um, maybe you're experiencing some sort of joint pain, or maybe you are, you know, having, you know, experiencing some sort of uh, like bloated bloating in the belly. And, and so we're, we always kind of sort of talk about inflammation as how we look in the here and now, but inflammation has been set up in our bodies long before we even knew what any, we knew anything about inflammation. So it started from the time that we were at birth. And that just continues all the way throughout all our different adult experiences, our life experiences. So I talked about the stress. I talked about pharmaceutical products that we might take, our prescription medications, the, the, um, the foods that we eat. All of that is contributing to just elevating that toxin level. And then associated with that is elevating inflammation. So then inflammation is actually a symptom of disease. It's not the cause of disease. It's the symptom. So when you think about those that under the iceberg that I was talking about, those are inflammatory imbalances, hormonal imbalances. Um, all of those things are the symptoms that let you know something's wrong on top. But we're actually not, we're not, when you go to the doctor, the doctor's not treating the stuff on the bottom. He's treating this, he or she is treating the stuff on the top. I'll give you another example of, of how this can kind of look. Uh, it's called the rain barrel effect. If you, you know, Everybody kind of think knows what a rain barrel is. You sit it at the bottom of a gutter. And so when it rains, all the water drains into the rain barrel. So you don't have it just pooling in one part of that, uh, right, pooling right at the uh, base of the gutter. So destroying the grass right there by the house. So when that, so the rain is just going to keep coming in, the barrel is going to fill up and eventually you have to empty it out. So that's the same thing that happens in our bodies. Over time, we're being filled with medications, cosmetics, toxic foods, stress, work stress, relationship stress, financial stress, um, hormonal stress, hormonal imbalances, all of these things. So we're like the barrel. So we're just uh, over time, we're just waiting for that barrel to, to overflow. And when it overflows, that's when we see disease. But the way that our medical system is set up is that it only treats the overflow. It treats the things it can see. It doesn't treat the things that we can't. So when we talk about supplementation, the purpose of supplementation is to help treat the things that are under the surface, to help manage the inflammatory imbalances, to help manage the, um, the hormonal imbalances, to help manage the gut imbalances, the gut, the, the, the poor um, gut health, the poor gut dysfunction or gut dysfunction. All of those things 
are under the surface. And that's why supplements are so important because no one goes to the doctor and the doctor says, well, why is your blood sugar elevated? They assume, well, you eat too many sweets. So don't eat, eat this, don't eat that. I tell people all the time, it's so funny. I, today, my, uh, I had to call the doctor for my son because I think you know, he might have an ear infection. First thing the nurse asked me, well, does he have a fever? As if that's the first sign of infection. And it's the most common question. Well, does he have a fever? Fever is way down the line. It's a, it's a symptom that happens a long time after, there's, after infection has already been present. It's your body's way of trying to defend itself and protect itself from whatever is attacking it. And so we think, oh, we got to get rid of the fever. Oh, we got to get rid of the inflammation. No, we all what we're doing is managing those symptoms when appropriate because the disease is on top. It's on, it's on the surface. And supplements are those building blocks to help us do just that. So when I, so what I want you to think about tonight, when we think about the importance of supplementation, you know, I always, we always get this question, do you need supplements? And the question is not, do you need supplements? But do you, do you not get eight hours of sleep every night? Do you not always drink the, amount, the recommended amount of water? Do you not always eat the right foods? Do you not always exercise? Do you not always have um, you know, the, the ideal scenario with, with your partner? So is there, some, is, is there sometimes some, some relationship stress? Is there sometimes some financial stress? Are there these bills that show up that you're not exactly sure how you're going to pay? Those are the things that are contributing to, that's that overflow that's filling up our barrel. And that's, the, that's creating this rain barrel effect of where over time, all these little things are compounding. And they've been compounding since birth before we even knew that there was that there was disease. We already started in this world with toxins. So we're already starting behind the eight ball. So we have to be proactive in our health because we're already toxic. And inflammation is just a manifestation of what that toxicity might look like. So unless you actually treat, unless you actually supplement and give the body what it needs, to be able to manage and to be able to fight back, to be empowered, to have what it needs it so it doesn't feel completely tired or burned out, you have to supplement to give the body that resource to be able to do that. And so that's where we, when we, when we pull plexus in, and I'm going to turn it back to Rachel to sort of, to talk to us a little bit about plexus and those supplements that are, that are really critical for bringing us back to cleaning out that barrel, making, because we're basically starting over. We're trying to eliminate the toxins. We're trying to eliminate the stress. We're trying to eliminate the symptoms so that we never actually get to the disease manifestation on top. So Rachel, you wanna talk about yes. some of the supplements that do that? Yes, yes, yes. So forgive me again um, in the car, but I, have, I, I do not miss an opportunity to talk about this. Um, and you, you dropped so many nuggets because I think a lot of what we do um, is take the onus on ourselves for not being able to address those underlying things or press them down or not realize the gravity of what we're doing every day layering on um, to work against us um, and to not address really root cause issues. So in walks Flexus with um, a stellar product line that not only equips us to start to prevent going down that road, but also back oh, um, out of some of the things we worked ourselves into and no fault of our own. And I think that that was one of the, the biggest blessings Plexus was. It was like, well, I know I'm doing all these things and I, 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 I must not just have the willpower or, you know, it's just, um, you know, how I'm made up genetically or um, I'm just not going to be able to receive, re re uh, reach the goal that I had. And it was like, oh, aha uh -huh moment for me um, that is, it wasn't all those things. I could achieve those, those goals with supplementation and Flexus helps us do that. So um, let me talk a little bit about um, one of our most popular combos, because when you can, um, when you can help your body to naturally decrease um, inflammation, 
um, with our triplex. Well, triplex is our um, one of our most popular combos. It's our gut health trio, and it actually helps do a number of those things that Dr. Corey talked about. It helps us decrease our overall inflammation at the cellular level. It helps us to heal up our leaky gut or stop um, toxins from leaking out of our gut into our system, therefore causing that inflammation process to be greater. Um, and it also helps us um, um, absorb nutrients. It helps us sleep better, helps us have more natural energy. So you see the layers that we're able to peel, uh, layers of the onion we're able to peel back when we're supporting in all of those ways. It's not just one thing. You know, a lot of times people think gut health, oh, well, or plexus is about weight loss or plexus is about just gut health. I don't have gut issues. But now we know after hearing from Dr. Corey that we all can um, use support in that area. So triplex is what I want to talk about first. And triplex are three products in our product line. Um, the first one is Slim, which is otherwise known as the pink drink. It has um, anti-inflammatory properties with alpha lipoic acid and um, also helps has chromium with healthy glucose metabolism. Because as you know, as um, you have uh, excess glucose in your system, your insulin goes off and that's the master hormone. It brings all of your hormones out of whack. Um, so helping to support healthy glucose metabolism also helps to support decreasing overall inflammation. So pink drink has chromium. Alpha lipoic acid is an antioxidant, highly nat a naturally occurring antioxidant, and it helps to um, bring in those free radicals. It helps um, with the oxid oxid oxidation process or decrease uh, increasing the or decreasing free radicals it just means it's helping your cells get rid of those toxins and stay healthier that's alpha lipoic acid it is in all forms of our slim we also have beetroot extract which you know beets are highly antioxidant so they're doing the same thing um it has prebiotic fibers that's feeding your good bacteria your good bacteria is thriving helping you sleep better helping kill off the bad bacteria that's causing um, you to crave more sugar. So as you see, it's doing a lot of things. It's not just about weight loss. It's not just about diet, you know, uh, healthy glucose metabolism. It's not just about inflammation. It's about all these things and turning the cascade into a positive direction instead of a negative direction. So that's slim. Um, we have BioCleanse, which is magnesium and has bioflavonoids, which are vitamin C, highly antioxidant, helping to increase magnesium um, into the body. We are magnesium deficient because we can't, it's hard to get it from food and um, especially the nutrient quality of our foods today. You'd have to eat so many calories to be able to get the magnesium that you need. And magnesium is integral in every cellular function. So your, um, your uh, muscles work better. Your uh, digestion works better. Um, a lot of people associate magnesium with uh, oh. constipation. I mean, it's not just singularly that when you have enough magnesium, your anxiety is, is, is helped, uh, or, or you can realize that it's not as prevalent. Um, so a lot of things associated with magnesium deficiency. So that's bio cleanse. And then, um, we have, um, ProBio5, which is a stellar probiotic. Not all pro probiotics are created equal. I know you starting to see uh, celebrities talk about probiotics. And, and again, I will tell you, not all probiotics are created equal. Ours has the five most, um, most uh, beneficial strains. And it's the, the way that it's designed, it helps to plant into, actually get to the site of action, which is in your gut, um, plant there, and it has an antifungal component. So it's helping to beat down candida yeast um, that is um, also help, you know, causing us to crave and not be able to sleep well. And it's factoring into all of that. So the probiotic is not only, you know, planting in the good seeds, but it's also helping to weed out the bad. Um, and, um, and those three products together are, have ingredients that are clinically proven to heal a leaky gut. Once you're healing your leaky gut, you're making better food choices, you have more natural energy, you're sleeping better, your inflammation goes down, and you can see where that alone, just those three products alone can 
are game changers. Um, but what Plexus has also done is um, helped us uh, with a, an anti a, a natural anti-inflammatory called Ease. Um, so um, any of you who are already on Plexus and you haven't tried Ease, put it in your cart, get it. It's a stellar anti-inflammatory product that um, unlike uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like acetaminophen and ibuprofen, it basically helps to break down inflammation pro byproducts in your in your system. So um, it searches out. So if you have joint pain, arthritis, it's going to go to the site of action because it has enzymes that look for the proteins that are byproducts of inflammation. It also has bromelain, which is a derivative of pineapple, and you know how that helps with inflammation. Um, it has a anti-inflammatory properties. So bromelain, uh, serapeptase is an enzyme that I was speaking of. Um, it has a derivative of green-lipped New Zealand mussel, which people who live in the region that um, uh, that those muscles are prevalent and are are high pro high part of their diet. They live ages. I mean, they live to to um the hundreds because of the anti-inflammatory properties of those muscles. And so what Plexus has done is combined in turmeric. Um, and as you know, the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric. So the Ease product is stellar hands down. Um, it helps to um, naturally decrease um, inflammation. Now, if you take it on an empty stomach, it is it has more anti-inflammatory properties. If you take it with or around food, it works more uh, like a digestive enzyme. Both are really great, but um, it works best on inflammation on an empty stomach. And there is a loading dose. So a lot of our products that I've already mentioned, you um, titrate up on the dose. So you start low one, you know, and the person who invited you or um, will we'll let you know how to get started on your products. But Ease is one of those you start higher and you work your way down. So there's a loading dose that's more beneficial on the Ease product. So the person who sent you this link or invited you will tell you more about that ease. Um, and then um, also another product, stellar product in our line is Mega X. And Mega X has omega fatty acids, um, all the whole range. And so a lot of times you'll hear about omega-3, omega-6. Is there a ratio? I mean, I know my doctor told me I needed it, um, but I can't have more of one than the other. And now what they're finding is um, the omegas, it's better to get them than, um, than not. And in ours, um, in our product, we have three, six, nine, eight, um, and I gotta, sometimes I forget one, so I gotta look at it. Um, but it is a stellar um, omega. It doesn't taste fishy, so that part is good. Um, it's a plant-based omega supplement, it has three, six, nine, seven, and five. Um, and so basically, not to bore you with the science, but it does have a powerful antioxidant effect, um, and um, it also has uh, a, a cell repair properties. So um, if you are looking for, if well, we all need omega supplementation because a lot of times it's very hard to get it from your diet again, um, and especially if your doctor has said, um, you need to be take you need to take an omega um, acid fatty acid. Uh, this is a stellar option, even on its own, but definitely coupled with the triplex to help support heart health, brain function, and and uh, decrease helping to decrease that cellular inflammation. Um, I don't think I said this in the beginning. I do feel like it is important to point out that supplements, no supplements, can claim to treat, diagnose, cure any disease states. What we're saying here, especially as pharmacists and healthcare professionals um, that actually still practice pharmacy, that this is a tool to be able to use to do all the things that Dr. Corey mentioned that are um, really holding us back from achieving overall wellness. Um, so I'm not, I don't want you to walk away from this thing saying, I'm not going to take any of my prescriptions. I'm just going to take this omega and because that, because that pharmacist told me, right. And we are being recorded. So <laughs> um, I'm not saying that I am saying there are ways I am encouraging plant-based diets, right. But even with that, 
there are some gaps that are um, very hard with con to, to maintain the consistency of diets that you can get with supplements. And so that's where Plexus has, has come in for me. And um, that's where I like to help um, my community and people who are realizing, hey, I don't have to settle for less. Um, um, so really quick, it looks like it's 759. I know I was going to talk uh, quickly about how you get started. Um, there are uh, numerous ways to get started. Product, we just talked about I just talked about three, Triplex, Ease, and um, um, Omega X, but there are so many different product combos that um, that there's something here for everybody. The healthiest person you know to the person with the most challenges. So you just have to work with the person who invited you, who told you about Plexus. They come up with a product combo recommendation um, that would work well with your lifestyle and your goals, and um, you become a VIP customer. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means you get when you pay nine dollars and ninety five cents, uh, which is the annual membership or enrollment fee. Basically, it's like Sam's or Costco. You pay nine ninety five, nine dollars and ninety five cents, um, and then you you are able to purchase a welcome pack or a combo, which the person who invited you will help you determine. And then you get twenty five percent off anything the rest of the year that you purchase. There are no minimums. There's a sixty day money back guarantee, which is what I love about. It uh, flexes stands behind the product line because we know it is effective when used appropriately and used with integrity. Um, of, of ninety over ninety one percent of the people see benefits if they are consistent with the product. So stick with it. Um, plug in. We have a lot of accountability. A lot of uh, people who are here to help and cheer you on along the way. Um, I'm a plexus for plexus for life, right? Plexus, I'm a plexus surf for life um, because I really, I really believe that the science behind the product support what we're doing here. So, um, Dr. Corey, um, any final closing remarks? Anything I missed? No, I think you did a great job covering everything for everyone. So I will, I will just make one comment. Of course, if you have a question, we want to make sure that we address your questions before we head off. So if you either want, you feel free to interrupt me and ask a question, or um, you can put it in the, in the chat. Did I hear someone? You're ready to ask a question? Maybe? Nope. Okay. Um, so just to kind of close this out, and just you know, as Dr. Rachel said, you know, this is about how we can, because remember, the, so when we talk about supplementation, supplements have to support a healthy lifestyle. And so what we are trying to do here is help to encourage you to be able to not just focus on what's on the surface, not just lean into whatever prescription someone has told you that you have to take, that you recognize that you have the ability and that you're empowered to be able to control what, um, what, the, what your health journey looks like. And because you are able to control what your health journey looks like, you have to feel empowered to take, to sit on calls like this get information and make decisions about what's the next best step for you and your health. And I promise you that any supplement that you work through, any supplement pack that you talk about with the person who invited you to this call, there is an opportunity within each of those supplement packs to help you manage all the stuff underneath the surface, manage all the imbalances that we're not talking about because we're only focused on that diagnosis on top. So we thank you so much. Appreciate y'all being here. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the person who invited you. And we look forward to um, helping you get started with Plexus. Thank you, Dr. Corey. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Dr. Hey, Corey. Night. Good night, everyone. Night, Bye. night.